stock up with that, bring those with you as much as you can. Um, E-liquids is another one. Um, as you know, Mark is a vape man. Um, and <laughs> we get them from the cheapo stores um, back in the UK. However, over here they are very expensive. For 10 mil, it's what, 3 euros 50? Yeah. And if you smoke at the rate Mark puffs away, like Puff the Magic Dragon, it's going to cost you a lot out of your budget. Um, so if you can bring those, we did stock up, didn't we? But we didn't bring enough. So we will make sure that we do bring enough. However, he has found a big bottle, haven't you, in one of the vape shops. Yeah. He has found a vape shop in Denia. Um, that was really good value. It's 12 euros for how many mils? 250 mils. So that's keeping him quiet for a moment. As he's poorly, he's not drinking. So that's also a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Although he is trying to have hot toddies, so there we are. Um, as you know, Miss Fussy Dog, we have um, Summer. She doesn't like to eat what you give her. She will only eat what she wants, um, and that is Caesar. She um, loves her Caesar. Now, in the UK, we can get eight packs in a box, can't we, for about £4? Yeah. Here, you can only get four in a box for the equivalent of £4. It's €3.95. Euros. So next year, we'll definitely be bringing Summer's Caesar with us. Also bring cash with you. Now we have a budget, and I explained to you this before. We have two accounts. We have one that pays our bills and our direct debits back in the UK, which we don't touch. We just transfer it across um, on our effective payday. That doesn't actually happen anymore. Um, but all our bills still come out at the same time. Um, so when you have your other account, the one that you use to live, I would say don't put all your money in there. Take 40% cash with you. Uh, the reason being, um, we found the cash points are few and far between, and when you do find one, as we found Santander, didn't we? Yeah. They charged me five euros to get my own money out. So next time we are going to bring 40% um, of our budget will be in cash, so we haven't got to keep traipsing backwards and forwards and pay charges that we really don't need to pay because it all sinks into your budget at the end of the day. Um, as you all already know, do not use a debit card in unmanned petrol stations in France. Um, if you haven't read our blog on that, read our blog, even watched our blog, we do have a blog actually online now as well. Um, go back and, and um, look at that. It was a very stressful experience when you find they've taken a hundred euros out of your account and you don't get it back for two weeks. Can't say about credit cards because we don't use them. But the debit card, they will take the 100 euros out and they will also then take out the actual petrol that you've bought. But they won't give you 100 euros back. And we had to wait two weeks, wasn't it, Mark? It was. Be it, it was over uh, the New Year period, but even so, I think it's disgraceful. I'm not happy about it and we won't be doing it again. Only happens then in France and not in Spain. Spain, absolutely fine, exactly the same as the UK. They just take what you use, end of story. Also check that electric is included uh, in your site fees. Um, we're lucky ours is included, but we only found out up to uh, 100 euros a month. That's a story for another time. We do, we do have an issue with the electric meter. We are trying to sort that out now, um, but we'll let you know about that in another blog in the future. Also, on many of the sites, again, we didn't know, there we were buying great big bottles of um, mineral water, obviously because you can't drink the, the water here for cooking, for kettle, and also the dog's so spoiled she does drink mineral water in her bowl. Um, normal water here does have a lot of salt in it, and I didn't like the idea of her drinking that. However, on the sites there is a tap, and I can't remember, what, is it potable? Potable. If it says that. potable on it, apparently it's drinking water. We didn't know that, we just found that out a few days ago. So that's now saving us lugging back great litres of, of water now. And obviously the budget, be it's only cheap, every cent counts. Um, another thing is washing machines, uh, laundrettes here on sites are generally quite expensive. Um, now at home, my washing machine is on permanently. What's the matter? Here you go. Oh, okay. He's telling me off here, this cameraman. Um, Lower your book. Oh, sorry, I've got my notes here. I've got my notes. 
Um, so as we're saying, laundrettes are quite pricey. <clears throat> so if you're doing two or three loads a week, which I do easily at home, um, at four euros a pop, that's going to eat into your budget. Um, so what we do is we hand wash. So bring a great one of those great big tubs that you can get with the handles. They're a bit flimsy. Fill it up with water and then you can just rinse out your t-shirts and whatnot in there. Because obviously generally the weather is pretty good so um, you're only going to wear light clothes anyway. Give them a good rinse and always bring um, a washing line with you. Um, lots of people tie uh, washing to trees, they put the line, I don't like that. Um, so I bring my own washing line with it, just a, a little camping washing line and every day I do a little bit at a time check it out on the line and it's literally dry within hours it is quite windy here but also you've got the heat as well so it does dry quite quickly um i don't think there's anything more that i can add to that so that's quite a comprehensive list so far seeing as we've only been here for five weeks and i'm sure this list will be added too but certainly do take some of those things into account just to make your trip a little bit easier um, now coming up um, over the next few days we're going to try and get some more um, blogs up for you if you've got any that you particularly want to anything you want to know um, you know do let us know and we'll see if we can do a vlog on it for you uh, we'll research some information and get it out there to you we're also going to do a tour of this particular campsite uh, Las Lanos um, and we will do a tour of our caravan as well which I'm sure you're all dying to see also give you some ideas of why we chose this now we didn't always have this caravan that we've got now our swift conqueror 645 we did have a swift utopia have i got that right yeah bang it we had that first we bought that uh when did we buy that 2014 um it was the one with the beds that you fold out never ever again will we do that at the time we had no idea we'd end up doing this but we had that for eight months absolutely fabulous fan and we sold it eight months later to our friends who also enjoyed it um but no fixed bed every time if you're going to do this always get a fixed bed uh it just it just makes life so much easier we'll go into that and obviously mark will give you all the technical things about that because i have no idea i just like all the all the knickknacks that go inside like me matching cushions and me duvets and my pretty little flowers i was insistent that mark got my flowers in there so thank you very much for watching thank you so much for subscribing to our channel we cannot believe um how many subscribers we've got in just over two weeks and we are very very grateful um hope you're enjoying it which you must be because you've subscribed if you haven't please do subscribe plenty more things to come okay so we'll see you at another time thank you Bye.